Good afternoon. I'm Andrew Hartley, the Director of Legal and Compliance at the University. I'd like to warmly welcome you all to this University of Salford graduation ceremony. Graduates, your relationship with the University does not end when you graduate. In fact, it's only just beginning. You are now a member of a global alumni community of over 175,000 graduates. We would love to keep in touch with you to ensure you are kept up to date on the latest benefits and services available to you as a member of our alumni network. Look out for an email from our alumni engagement team over the next couple of days, inviting you to download a free clip of yourself crossing the stage today. The team will also be in touch to provide you with information about our Graduate Life website providing helpful information and tips about life as a graduate, from careers advice to travelling and to managing your money. And you will be invited to join from Salford, our exciting new alumni network and monitoring hub, instantly connecting you to an online community at Salford, of Salford supporters, alumni, across the globe, giving you the opportunity to expand your own professional network, get helpful career tips from leaders in your field, and even request for one to be your mentor. Please ensure that your mobile phones are switched off for the duration of the proceedings. The ceremony will now begin. For those of you who are able, please stand for the entrance of the academic procession. I can now declare this congregation open to present degrees from the University of Salford.
Graduands and distinguished guests, please welcome Professor Alan Walker, Dean of the School of Arts and Media. Chancellor, graduands and guests, I'm delighted to welcome you today. Uh, graduands, you will receive your degrees supported by friends and family, and we, as part of the wider academic community, acknowledge your achievements and celebrate your success. As you leave the university and seek employment during what we can describe as an electronic revolution, I'm minded of the famous painting by Joseph William Mallard Turner called Rain, Steam and Speed which documented an earlier industrial revolution in the 19th century. It shows a railway locomotive hurtling across a viaduct in a violent storm. It is a remarkable painting in which all human activity, even of the most advanced technology, becomes insignificant in a wild onslaught of nature. On the track is a hare running for its life in a vital battle to outrun the train. While we still experience the impact of the 19th and 20th centuries dependence on non-renewable natural resources, we are keenly aware of the challenge of seeking alternative and less destructive ways of living. In November, our Art and Design and MA Creative Writing students worked with Design Manchester and Extinction Rebellion to identify creative solutions for a more sustainable future. In another project, 25 of our students delivered a live to the web five-hour outside broadcast of the Green Power International Finals from the Silverstone Circuit. Communication is a key element of the new revolution, and again our students have achieved great success. BA Journalism final year student Ellie Kemp and MA Journalism graduate George Hay were both nominated for prestigious BBC Radio 4 Today Programme Awards for Young Journalist of the Year and Broadcaster of the Year, respectively. Former BA Journalism student Inzi Rashid also won the Outstanding Young Journalist Award at the Asia Media Awards. Louise Reddy Sira was invited to join the production team as producer-director for, Ch for Channel 4's wildlife documentary series, Work on the Wild Side. Your school, the School of Arts and Media, exists for creativity and culture. In August, Eric Ayler, a Canadian student on comedy writing and performance, won this year's Chortle Student Comedy Award at the Edinburgh Fr Fringe Festival. <coughs> The second year, a student from this course has won the main prize. The judges were impressed by her deadpan style and her dark humour. The runner-up was a master's student, Tom Short, who's... <laughs> Hello, Tom. Uh, <laughs> whose performance involved using a wheel of fortune to determine the direction of his routine. <coughs> Another comedy writing and performance graduate, Harry McLafferty, has an international internship with Comedy Central, the transatlantic broadcast cha channel, following a competition for a new online program. Charlotte Louise Macmillan, BA Drama and Creative Writing, gained a, pre a prestigious and paid diversity-focused internship with literary agency Conville and Walsh. Three music students performed at this year's International Edinburgh Military to two, while Alistair Harrison won the coveted Buxton Festival Composers Award. In another cultural sphere, politics and history staff launched a new module for students to work with the National Football Museum, Working Class Movement Library, and Museum of Science and Industry. So, while the content of Turner's painting focused on the dramatic impact of the Industrial Revolution and its influence on 19th century thinking and culture, it is also a painting of remarkable beauty. 
Its treatment of light and color had a profound effect on the next generation of artists, including Monet, Pizarro, and the French Impressionists. As you enter the world of employment or of further study, I encourage you to reflect on your role in society and your ability to use your creativity and skills to contribute to a new and more caring society. Like the train in rain, steam and speed, this graduation is your emergence and you've earned the right to have confidence in your skills and to take a leading role in rewriting the values of your generation and to have impact. On this note, graduates and guests, please welcome <coughs> Professor Sheila Pankhurst, Dean of the School of Science, Engineering and Environment. Chancellor, a very warm welcome to all graduates, to your families, friends, partners, supporters, to distinguished guests and my academic colleagues here today. And well done, you made it. You got your dissertation finished, you passed that difficult exam. Some of you learned to fly, some of you helped build a car. You got to grips with a new coding language. You finished that challenging engineering project and you finally really mastered that tricky piece of equipment in the labs. And along the way, you made friends, you learned a great deal, at least I hope you learned a great deal, and most importantly, you grew up as a person. All of you here today have achieved a significant milestone in your lives, and I am immensely proud of all of you and your determination, your hard work, and sheer ability and excellence in so many areas. But I want to take this opportunity to highlight to you the value and the importance of the awards that you're about to receive today. Any academic award, be it a PhD, master's, undergraduate degree, it's a partnership between you, the students, and the academics who support and guide you along the way. And the value of a degree depends in equal measure on your hard work and on our knowledge and commitment to offer you the best courses and supervision and opportunities that we possibly can. But the relevance and excellence of our degree programs in the School of Science, Engineering and Environment is evidenced by our very high level of course accreditation by professional outside bodies from the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, the Institution of Civil Engineers, the Institution of Structural Engineers, the Royal Aeronautical Society, and many others. And this recognition by national professional bodies really matters. It means that the awards that you'll shortly be receiving and celebrating have real currency and value out there in the world of employment. And accreditation of our degrees is a badge of quality that we're very proud of. We're also proud of our research and enterprise. And this year, research in the school, which has reached record levels, has been supported by the British Council, the UK Research Councils, the Department of Health, the Ministry of Defence, the Royal Society, the European Commission, the prestigious Newton Fund, and many other grant awarding bodies. But what that funding means, it enables us to carry out research. It su supports our postgraduate research students but it also recognizes the world-leading status of our work in areas such as acoustics and data science, robotics, autonomous systems, and other important and very topical and current areas of science, engineering, and technology. And this is a tremendous tribute to the excellence of our researchers, who, of course, they're the people who are your supervisors and lecturers and tutors and professors. So today, in many ways, is only the start of your journey and as so many Salford graduates have done before you, you will, I'm sure, go on to very successful careers, whether you stay in research or you go to work in data science, in aerospace, in control systems, all areas of engineering, and in exciting new areas of digital technology, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity. So, go out there and celebrate. Use your skills and knowledge. Do your best to change the world. And on behalf of all of my colleagues in the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, congratulations, many congratulations once again. And I wish you all the very best for whatever the future holds. And whilst it's been an exciting year for our school, 
It's also been a year of significant achievement for our university as a whole. And as such, I am very proud to introduce our presiding officer for this ceremony, the Chancellor, Professor Jackie Kay. Thank you. Thank you. Distinguished guests and graduates of 2019, as Chancellor of the University of Salford, I'm delighted to welcome you to today's graduation ceremony, celebrating the awards that you've achieved. We're here today to congratulate you all on your next generations of graduates and to wish you well and to tell you how proud we are as you embark on your next chapter of life. Today, as you know, only too well marks the accumulation of years of hard work for you. Recognising your success is rightly the highlight of our university calendar and it is my great pleasure to be here today um, to, to accompany you on this, on this special day and to accompany your friends and family. May I extend a very well welcome to all of you. Hello friends. Hello. Hello family. Whether you've come from just down the road or whether you've come from a long distance, how many of you come from come from more than five miles to be here today? Quite a lot. More than 10 miles? More than 20 miles? It's quite a lot. Well, we, we thank you all for coming and for journeying and for getting here on time and for sitting there with your clean and smiling faces. I hope that you'll have very special memories of today. Your university journey will have been a pivotal moment in your life. Alongside your specific studies, you'll have further shaped your views on the world, learnt more about yourself, and created memories and friends that will hopefully be lifelong friends. Whether you're now moving on to further studies, new employment, or taking the time to reflect on these opportunities, I wish you all success. Today is one of these double days. You're pleased that you've succeeded and you feel a great sense of celebration and joy. And you're also sad, in a way, to be moving on and leaving this specific time. It's one of these days that you look forward and back simultaneously. Perhaps, like many of you, I was the first in my family to go to university. I was from an ordinary working class family who were over the moon to support me through. If you told me that I would one day be stood here as chancellor, of the University of Salford and the National Poet of Scotland, the Macker, I would have told you that you were having a laugh. <laughs> I was adopted and when I was made Macker, our word for the National Poet of Scotland three years ago, my mum said, who would have ever thought that wee baby we brought home in a basket would one day turn out to be Macker? Which kind of paradoxically made me think of the 70s cartoon where the, the midwife's carrying a baby and the little caption says, it's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Travelling around Scotland, people often stop to ask me if I'm the macker. In fact, last Christmas, I went to throw some money into a busker's empty guitar case and he stopped singing and he went, it's the macker! And then he went, Merry Christmas, macker! which was quite exciting when I came back and told that to my mum. She went, oh, you've made it. <laughs> and then the other day I was on a ferry and going from Benbecula in the Hebrides to, to Harris, and the man helping me with my luggage on the ferry said to me, am I right in thinking that you're Urmacher? I said, I am <laughs> your macker made me feel like I should have some sort of special powers. My birth mother came from the Highlands in Scotland and my birth father came from Nigeria and I, I always felt very special being adopted. My mum said to me when I was a kid, we picked you, other people had to take what they got. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember finding my birth father in Nigeria and uh, him not wanting to tell any of his family about me, wanted to keep me completely secret. He said to me, if people were to know about you, they would lose their faith in God. <laughs> <laughs> not, 
What a crazy power that would be to have. <laughs> There's so many ways of feeling special and being granted a degree feels a very, very special thing. Today is one of those shimmering, luminous moments in your life that hopefully you'll forever treasure. As the African-American writer Zora Neale Hurston said, the present was an egg laid by the past that had the future inside its shell. Today is one of those days. In these troubled and unsettling times, in this politically turbulent, surreal and strange times, having faith and hope in a future seems ever more difficult. It seems even more challenging. And yet, when the terrible things happen, when the attacks happen just recently, tragically, in London Bridge, what we're often most touched by is the knowledge that people communally can and must make a difference. We could call it a kind of collective kindness. We have to draw upon that specialism, not just our specialisms and our expertise, but our empathy and our kindness, our fantastic human ability to step outside our own shoes and imagine somebody else's life. It's the quality that you need most in life Whatever your specialism is the ability to try and imagine something from somebody else's point of view. As Mahatma Gandhi observed, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. It's when people do extraordinary things for others that we are the most inspired. The point is that to give your utmost is always a good thing. Nobody ever regrets unless the recipient was undeserving giving the most, but people do routinely regret not having tried their absolute best. You've just demonstrated your abilities and your skills and your drive by being here today, whether you're a, an undergraduate student, whether you're a mature student, whatever age you are, your family and your friends will have been cheering you on and supporting you and we are very proud of you and you should all be very, very proud of yourself. It's a lovely thing to be able to actually get a chance to have uh, ceremonies that mark these and I think that's why we all really like ceremonies. We like the pomp and the circumstance. We like getting dressed up. We like thinking about what we're going to wear. Um, it's a fascinating thing if you watch everybody's shoes coming across the stage, you know. It's one of the ways in which I really notice the difference between people, the shoes, and also how they shake a hand. You'd be very surprised, being me, you get to find out that there's probably at least a hundred different ways that people have of shaking hands. The one I'm not so fond of is the ones when people crush your hand and it's agony, and you have to just smile, you know. So hopefully, hopefully that will, I'll avoid that um, today by having said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sleek it way of putting in a bid, sleek it being a, being a Scottish word for sly. <coughs> this year we see a growing cohort of apprenticeship students graduating as the university rises to the challenge of providing different ways of learning for the diverse skills, the economy that exists today. The university started with two apprenticeships programs in the Charter Surveying back in 2016, but since then we've grown significantly and we'll soon be recruiting our 1,000 1, apprentices. Uh, and all are studying impressively, uh, presenting wonderful portfolios in partnership with over 100 employers across health, digital, engineering, business, construction and biomedical science. I'm proud that the University of Salford remains the cutting edge of world leading research, innovation and teaching. I'm proud of all the work that we do with doctoral training, prosthetics and orthotics. This is the first time we've secured funding from a center for doctoral training and this success is testament to the growing status of our best researchers and our rising reputation among the research community and industry partners. Alongside partners including Imperial College London, the University of Strathclyde, and the University of Southampton and 27 industry and clinical partners, we will receive over 16 million to train more than 60 individuals to doctoral level over the next eight years to address the significant global health challenges. 
the growth in the number of students studying at this university and our growing portfolio of applied research is matched by the ambition of our campus master plan developed in partnership with Salford, <coughs> university, with Salford City Council. It will see 800 million redevelopment of the campus and the surrounding city region. It will bring new residents, bars, restaurants, businesses, and the university will see 300 million of new facilities going forward to, to forward our strategy to remain an internationally excellent university that has real world impact and also impact in this community to which we are very, very proud to belong. It's very interesting to think I'm only the third um, chancellor of the University of Salford um, and that we began years ago as a technical college. We had as our chancellor for years and years Prince Philip I've no doubt be, I no doubt think that he would be very surprised to hear that he's morphed into a black lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to tell him. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps it would make him drive cars better. <laughs> you, our students and alumni, have all been doing the university proud for over 12 months. 25 of our fashion students showcased their collection at the New York Fashion Week, and two of our law students represented the UK at the Commonwealth Legal Association with in Zambia. And we've had extraordinary achievements, as you heard um, the, the different professors tell you about with our, with our engineering students and our social, school of social media students. And it's always a, a proud thing as a, as a parent or as a son or a daughter when your child does, does very well. My own son, I went to his graduation ceremony a few years ago and he's just been, he makes um, documentary films and he's just been long listed for an Oscar. I know, I know. I tell him. For his documentary called Little Miss Sumo about a woman, sumo wrestler, I'll tell him we gave him a wee round of applause. But, uh, but it's always uh, really, really exciting, the, the business of sharing in somebody's success. So I'm, uh, without any more ado, I would like to thank very, very much our staff who are sitting behind me, because without them, you wouldn't be here today. I would like to give them a massive round of applause for all their work. I'd also like you to give a massive round of applause to your supporters, your families, and your friends that have encouraged you along the way. In fact, in fact, I think the support deserves even more recognition, so I think you should stand up and applaud them fulsomely. In a moment, you'll pass across the stage, and I know that some of you will be very welcome to take your time passing across the stage. I'll be looking into the eyes of each and every one of you and shaking the hands of each and every one of you. Remember to stay in touch with the university, to tell us about ongoing achievements, to know that this university will always be prepared and happy to welcome you back with open Salford arms. Sounds like the name of a pub. And, uh, <laughs> And hopefully some of you will be going to the pub later to get a good drink down you and, uh, and celebrate. Finally, I would ask you to reflect on your abilities and your social obligations as graduates to always go out there into the world and find different ways of giving your utmost and giving somehow back to the community that you live in and you work in. We, we are always i um, amazed that we actually are, we, we form part of an organic community and we can often feel as if we can feel outside of things. I wrote this very short poem because um, I felt outside of things and hopefully from now on today and going forward uh, you won't. It's called Somebody Else. If I was not myself, I would be somebody else. But actually, I am somebody else. I have been somebody else all my life. It's no laughing matter going about the place all the time, being somebody else. People mistake you, 
you mistake yourself. I would urge you to go forward in life and always try to be yourself, dare to be different, and dare to be utterly and totally yourself. Thank you very much. I now invite Andrew Roberts to be presented for the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Chancellor, distinguished guests and graduands, it is an enormous pleasure for me to present to you Andrew Roberts for the award of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. When I was asked to make this presentation, I instantly recalled two television adverts. The first I remember from the late 1970s, and it was promoting the benefits of further education colleges. It centered on an interview situation where this young, timid character was being interviewed by a large, quite domineering person who asked, what job do you want? Yours, came the reply. The punchline being that everything is possible if you work hard. Now, I'm not sure what happened when Andrew, at the age of 18, was interviewed for a job at Pennine Telecom in Bury, North Manchester. But he was taken on as a technician repairing walkie-talkie radios. From there, he moved on to system installation and commissioning and was appointed telephone system support manager in 1987. A move into sales soon followed, and in 1992, he joined the board of the company. Today, he is managing director of Pennine, now renamed Avoira, and a director of the parent company, Nikom, which has its headquarters in Salford, a mile or so from this campus, and is the UK's largest privately owned independent technology group. So Andrew is living proof, like that television advert, that everything is indeed possible, and no matter where you start within an organisation, you can reach that top job. The second advert that sprung into my mind was for men's electric razors. And at the end of that advert, the person demonstrating the razor looked straight into the camera and said, I liked this product so much, I bought the company. A few years after joining the board of Pennine Telecom, the founding managing director announced his retirement. And Andrew led a management buyout, becoming its new managing director. He clearly liked working for Pennine so much that as the man with the razor said, he simply had to buy the company. Under Andrew's leadership, Pennine has increased its annual turnover threefold to 30 million, which in turn has helped Nikon to be ranked as one of the UK's top 250 growth companies by the Sunday Times. Beyond his immediate business responsibilities, Andrew was the founder member and chair of the Berry Business Leaders Group and is today the local president of the Greater Manchester Chamber of Commerce. Links with Salford are also strong, exemplified by a very successful knowledge transfer partnership that developed a digital cross-channel marketing strategy for the company the support of our public outreach events, and collaboration on a Salford-hosted European conference for telecommunications professionals. And I'm delighted to say that Salford students also benefit enormously from Andrew's experience. For over 20 years, Andrew has been supporting us by providing masterclasses, not only on the technical aspects of telecommunications, but equally importantly, bringing a real-world business focus to what we teach. 
if we want our students to understand how you can manage a UK-based telecommunications company with a product supply chain extending into China, what finer way than for Andrew to come along and tell them how it's actually done and so successfully. Long may it continue, especially now that Andrew has cemented his relationship with us even further by becoming, like many of us in this room here today, a member of Salford's alumni. Chancellor, in recognition of his enormous personal and business achievements, it is with great pleasure that I present for the award of Doctor of Science honoris causa, Andrew Roberts. You. Should I say that again? <laughs> I will. I'll do a rerun. This is a rerun. By virtue of the authority vested within me, I pronounce you Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Chancellor, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, assembled guests, it's a great honour and a privilege to stand here today to receive this award. It is a very, it's very special to me to be admitted to the honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of my life's work, first in radio communications, then in telecoms, and more recently in unified communications or UC, as we like to call it. I would like to thank the University of Salford, and especially the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, for nominating me for this award. I would also like to thank Professor Nigel Lynch for his kind words. <clears throat> it's been a privilege to work with students here at Salford for many years. I believe it's important that businesses engage with further and higher education establishments. How else will industry get graduates more suited to the evolving workplaces? I look forward to continuing this work for a long time, for as long as my experience is relevant, or in other words, for as long as, uh, 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 so as, long as I don't get too old, old and boring. It's fantastic that we celebrate student success in grand ceremonies like this one. Well done to all who are graduating today. You've all worked so hard to gain your qualifications and you deserve this special day to celebrate with family and friends. May I wish you all the very best for your next steps, whether that's further education, the start of a new career or something else. Whatever you decide to do, my advice is simple. Always strive to work hard Always work to the best of your ability. Have integrity in all you do. Take on new challenges when they're presented before you and help your teammates whenever you can. If you do this, you too will rise to the top of your chosen profession. All of us who graduate today will have had support from somebody. Please remember also to thank those who have helped you today. Success in my career would not have been achieved without a fantastic team around me, both at home and in the office. I would publicly like to say thank you to all my work colleagues over the last 40 years, represented here by my PA Gail, for all their encouragement, support and hard work which has enabled us to build a fantastic company. And thanks to my family, especially my wife Viv, 
for 36 years of teamwork, working together to make it all possible. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to celebrate your achievements together. Thank you. Graduates and guests, we will now commence the presentation of the postgraduate awards from the School of Arts and Media <coughs> and School of Science, Engineering and Environment. Each student will be presented individually for their award. I'd like to invite Professor Alan Walker, Dean of the School of Arts and Media, and Professor Sheila Pankhurst, Dean of the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, to present the PhD awards. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Arts and Media, I present for the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Gaming the Past, Designing and Using Digital Games as Historical Learning Context, Juan Francisco Herriat. Discovering Townley Park, a digital and multi-method approach to understanding the effects of a digital heritage interpretation of a Lancashire park. Alexander David Rowe McDonough. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, I present for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Personality and Cognitive Factors in the Assessment of Multimodal Stimuli in Immersive Virtual Environments, John William Bailey. For a thesis entitled Geometric Correction of Historical Arabic Documents, Ali Aruma Mohammed Dulia. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Reduction of Wind Induced Microphone Noise Using Singular Spectrum Analysis Technique, Omar Edweg. For a thesis entitled Analysis on Actuator Dynamics in Active Wheel Set Control, Lusham Wirasonya Liana Aratichije. Graduates and guests, we will continue the presentation of the postgraduate awards from the School of Arts and Media and the School of Science, Engineering and Environment. Each student will be presented individually for their award. I'd like to invite Nigel Howe, Associate Dean, Strategy and Operations of the School of Arts and Media, <coughs> and Professor Sheila Pankhurst, Dean of the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, to present the awards. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Arts and Media, I present for the award Master of Arts Contemporary Arts Practice with Industry Experience, Tremaine Senior. <laughs> present for the award Master of Arts Contemporary Performance Practice, Tia Bella Easton. Sean Fitton.
Jordan James Linton. Luke McDonnell. Thomas Short. And Patrick Thomas. I present for the award Master of Arts Creative Writing, Innovation and Experiment, Kudsia Akhtar. Sarah Marie Griffiths. Neil James Jones. Nicola Newby. Stuart Barry Kaisley Page. Callum Turner, and Lily May Williams. I present for the award Master of Arts Design for Communication with Industry Experience, Emma Tomine. Present for the award Master of Arts Intelligence and Security Studies, Deborah Gomez Barbosa. <laughs> Scott Hecker. <laughs> Alexander James Hobbs. <laughs> Bobby Joe Kerfoot. Gabriella Ivalova Pimpreva. <laughs> and Callum Wardle. <laughs> I present for the award Master of Arts Interactive Music and Advanced Studio Production, Joe Ian McIntosh. For the award Master of Arts International Journalism for Digital Media, Lika Apriliani. <laughs> Jessica Lorena Gonzalez Divia. <laughs> Lydia McCormack. <laughs> Kelsey Hong Nguyen. Toby Ojo. <laughs> Rafael Pereira. <laughs> Juan Villanova. <laughs> and Bryony Wilshaw. For the award Master of Arts Journalism Broadcast, Rory Boyle. George Martin Hay. <coughs> Jessica Hodge. Josie Klein. Chloe McLaughlin. <laughs> Anna Michaud. <laughs> Timothy O'Callaghan. <laughs> Sophie Reaper. <laughs> J. 
James Ross. Amy Sharp. Annie Thomas. And William Grant Morgan Vincent. For the award Master of Arts Journalism News, Calandra with an art with, with an Archie. For the award Master of Arts Journalism Sports, Jamie Burns. Samuel John Carney. Alex James Hendley. Oliver Lathrop. and Ike, M Alec Michael Whittaker. <laughs> For the award Master of Arts Literature and Culture, Daniel Auerbach. <laughs> Charlotte Horsfield. <laughs> Abby Navin Parcell. and Shona Ryden. I present for the award Master of Arts Literature, Culture and Modernity, Atifa Hansrott. For the award Master of Arts Media Production Animation, Joel Callahan. Robert Jones. Helen Shanahan. <laughs> For the award Master of Arts Media Production, Post Production for TV, Matt Aindo. <laughs> Connor Jack Alderson. <laughs> Simon Emrich. Samuel Jackson. Anna Magdalena Lubovica. Christopher James Mungovan. Yasmin Reed. Bethany Salisbury. <laughs> Alana Van Pelt. <laughs> For the award Master of Arts Media Production, TV Documentary Production, Mark Chapman. Raphael Kahn. <laughs> Lydia Fattah. <laughs> Matea Petrovic. <laughs> Oliver Smith. Josh Spencer. <laughs> Sh 
Henry Terry. And Luis Fernando Valverde Lopez. For the award Master of Arts Media Production TV Drama Production, Jacob Hudson. Jack McKnight. For the award Master of Arts Music Composition, present Luke James Gallagher. Master of Arts Music Performance, Anvesha Chakrabarti. For the award Master of Arts Public Relations and Digital Communications, Bella Albarova. <laughs> Megan Ashley Ford. <laughs> Rowan Nicole Jenkins. <laughs> Ariana Pani. Daniel Patton, <laughs> and Jessica Woodhouse. <laughs> I present for the award Master of Arts Television and Radio Script Writing, Ashley Price. For the award Master of Arts Terrorism and Security, Mark John Bailey. <laughs> Alberto de Santiago Coronado. <laughs> Matthew John Hopton. <laughs> Imad Iqbal. Olivia Keithley. <laughs> Sophie Rawlinson. <laughs> Eleanor Wilson. <laughs> and for the, the award Master of Arts Wildlife Documentary Production, David John Fawcett. Ben Garrett. <laughs> Joshua Green. <laughs> Anna Marie Hardin. <laughs> Sophie Hannah Jones. Olivia Kennaway, and William Mercer. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, I present for the award of Master of Science, Acoustics with Audio Applications, Lucy Diggle. <laughs> for the award of Master of Science, Advanced Control Systems, Precious Ifonimwa, GE Engineer. Olusei Te Mitope Okiweo.
for the award of Master of Science Aerospace Engineering, Saif Abdul Karim Al Sayyidi Al Malahi. <laughs> Yassi Nazrafali. <laughs> Alexander Fifield. Sufyan Nazir, <laughs> Celestino Sr., <laughs> Saheb Shaheed, <laughs> Igotena, For the award of Master of Science Audio Acoustics, Gabriel Whittle. <laughs> Torin Wilson. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science Audio Production, Nancy Lee Atkins. Martin Higgins. <laughs> Jordan Pimblett. <laughs> Christopher Solman. <laughs> Thomas Hugh Williams. For the award of Master of Science Autonomous Systems, Max Chopart. <laughs> Theo Sahin. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science Cybersecurity, Threat Intelligence and Forensics, Ahmed Danladi Abdullah. Bhagava Cherikupali. <laughs> Jumaya Narith Abang. <laughs> Abotoku Gongulong. <laughs> Boluwatife Gabriel Jetsutui. Bamzi Venkat Pabinidi. <laughs> Bintu Yukuba Umar. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Data Science, Anna Maria Aldana Helvis. Abdul Jabbar Alissa. <laughs> Tulumegameno Amutenya. <laughs> Khalid Sabo Babanjida. <laughs> Nafisa Opiyemi Badmos. Halima Chowdhury. <laughs> Julemar Da Silva Pena. <laughs> Benjamin Mark Deacon. <laughs> Emma Harden. Rafael Abremo. <laughs> Snihagithi Kopinidi. <laughs> Mohammed Danish Mabu. <laughs> Atif Mahmoud.
Arit Sejimaina, Uwale, Molly, Murphy, Akipi Aji. Son Abnaz. Constantine Hundu. Nikolaos Panaleus. Shehan Shan. Jeff and Shoji. Leah Stanway. Pathy Tika Tawaba. Gilbert Abina Umemba. George Welch. Beatrice Williams. Konstantinos Zempekis. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Environmental Acoustics, Christopher Stanley Buckley. <laughs> Thais Cosenza Zacharias. <laughs> Antonio Esposito. Stephen Fox Marshall. <laughs> David Vinci. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Gas Engineering and Management, Jeffrey Kwaku Ampuza. For the award of Master of Science, Petroleum and Gas Engineering, Farouk Abdel Karim. <laughs> Yogesh Kamala Kanan. <laughs> Kenan Tuabazi. For the award of Master of Science, Robotics and Automation, Oliseo Adebonia. <laughs> the award of Master of Science, Structural Engineering, Samuel Baggett. <laughs> Joyce Jonga. <laughs> Philip Martin Edwards. Joseph Firth. <laughs> William Francis Frame. <laughs> Dilexon Canapathe Pile. <laughs> Forlasada Aluso Lasoju. <laughs> Liam James Thompson. For the award of Master of Science, Transport Engineering and Planning, Akwasi Kodua. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Ibrahim Musa. <laughs> Basil Pavlov. <laughs> and for the award of a postgraduate diploma in Petroleum and Gas Engineering, Tusef Mahmoud.
We will now commence the presentation of the undergraduate awards from the School of Arts and Media and the School of Science, Engineering and Environment. Each student will be presented individually. For their award, I'd like to invite Malcolm Rayburn, Associate Director of Performance of the School of Arts and Media, and Professor Mike Rogan, Deputy Dean of the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, to present the awards. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Arts and Media, I present for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Contemporary Military and International History, Matilda Morris. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Design, Maria Sajawa. Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English and Creative Writing, John Booth. <laughs> Mia Shade Finlay. <laughs> Catherine Jane Mountain. <laughs> Serafina Palmer Hill. Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English and Drama, Jennifer Florian Jean Whelan. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English Language, Roxanne Cox. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English Language and Creative Writing, Dominic John Williams. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English Literature, Jack Bowden. <laughs> Janai King. <laughs> Rachel McCabe. Malika My Street. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, English Literature with English Language, Maria Lillian Booth. <laughs> Dordana Khan. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Fashion Design, Tamara Davis. <laughs> Yi Jing Xu. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Fashion, Image Making and Styling, Olivia Clare. <laughs> Anna Grace Crimmins Morton. Bachelor of Arts with Honours Film Production, Jody Clark. Blake Hooker. Obiora Gabriel Okozi. Thomas Jeffrey Paul Smith. Bachelor of Arts with Honours Fine Art, Louise Alexandria Cunningham. <laughs> Ellie Wood. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours Graphic Design, Liam Ashcroft. Urel Leroy Blackwood. <laughs> Victoria Angelica Kaus.
Bachelor of Arts with Honours, International Relations and Politics, Olaidi Olaleri. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Journalism and English, Liam Thomas Arundale. <laughs> Shannon Louise. Bachelor of Arts with Honours Journalism Broadcast, Vanessa Akpan. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours Journalism Multimedia, Sean Megan Jones. <laughs> Jacob Vint. Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Media and Performance, Duncan Russell Boys. <laughs> Jessica Whelan. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Music, Popular Music and Recording, Emma Farrell. Kian Frecklington. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours Photography, Sophie Rebecca Clark. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours Politics, Lisette Majali Luamiloza. Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Television and Radio, Avas Buju. <laughs> Owen Kaur. <laughs> Ryan Krogan. <laughs> Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Amy Parker. Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Theatre and Performance Practice, Elizabeth Briggs. <laughs> Tabitha Firth. <laughs> Courtney Hunt. <laughs> Foundation Degree Arts, Media Makeup for Fashion, Anna Santa. Foundation Degree Arts Media Production, Carl Evans. <laughs> Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Science, Engineering and Environment, I present for the award of Master of Engineering in Aeronautical Engineering, Marlon Kajitan D'Souza. <laughs> Matthew Lee Ferguson. <laughs> and for the award of Master of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Mohammed Wakas Iqbal. And for the award of Master of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Sin Kui Chiang. <laughs> for the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Acoustical and Audio Engineering, Rowan Cotton. <laughs> for the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Aeronautical Engineering, Nathan John Marcus Farrell. <laughs> Audric Malemo. <laughs> and 
Jan Jozyski. And for the award of Bat for the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Aircraft Engineering with Pilot Studies, Oliver Stephen Harding. For the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Civil and Architectural Engineering, Mohammed Tala Kalun Khan. And for the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Civil Engineering, Farhad Al Harbi. Mohammed Al Jadi. Khaled Al Mari. Ahmad Al Otebi. Musab Ad Salili, <laughs> Abdullah Absulali, <laughs> Sarah Fatane, <laughs> Mohammed Hanafi. Kudakwashe Muambe. And for the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Control and Automa Automation Engineering, Ashley Allen Baker. Jake Anthony Ferrugia. Thomas Edward Jacques, <laughs> Kenneth Zayn Terblanche, <laughs> and Megan Ward. <laughs> and for the award of Bachelor of, si Bachelor of Engineering with honours in electronic engineering, Keith Anjum. Mohammed Jawad Azam, Karini, Karina Bailey McNally, Nahmuddin Erbakin bin Muslan, Tulani Hela. Richard Condoni, and Shokor Mohammed. And for the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical Engineering, Priyush Jatav. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Aviation Technology with Pilot Studies, Wazir Gabal. <laughs> and for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Civil Engineering, Ahmed Hatem Al Zubedi. <laughs> Mohammed Adil Mullah. and Mohammed Sultan. <laughs> and for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Networks, Mohammed Mubin Khan. <laughs> Raj Palmer. <laughs> Monzer Abdullah Saig. And Shamsadan Sarif. <laughs> and 
for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Physics, Anam Anjum. And Jack David Lyons. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Professional Science and Video Technology, Aidan Patrick Lawler. <laughs> Max Roper. <laughs> Nathan Smith. <laughs> and Samuel Treese. And for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Software Engineering, Udin Mod Forhad. <laughs> for the award of Bachelor of Science Aviation Technology with Pilot Studies, Arzu Rehman. For the award of Bachelor of Science in Computer Networks, Omar Al Jawari. <laughs> and Jack Latham. <laughs> and for the award of Bachelor of Science Web Development, Simran Kaur Singh. And for the award of Master of Arts Media Production and Animation, Samuel Dion Thorley. <laughs> and for the award of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Civil Engineering, Abdul Aziz Al Muteri. Graduates and distinguished guests, that concludes the presentation of the awards. Before I invite the Chancellor to close the ceremony, please could I ask that all guests remain seated until all the graduates have left their seats. I would now like to invite the Chancellor to close the ceremony. I'd like to say a massive congratulations to each and, one of you, each and every one of you who has graduated today. Well done from me and on behalf of all of the, the staff and colleagues here. Thank you and congratulations. Enjoy the rest of this wonderful day before you. It really is a joy and an honour um, to be part of a day like this and to hear so many people shout out messages of love and encouragement and sheer glee to the different people graduating. It's, it's, um, we, share, we share in your excitement and your joy and it feels a privilege to be part of it. So, so thank you all for your patience and for your excitement and your attention um, all of the way through this, this ceremony. It was amazing. I'd like to say a massive thank you to all the staff, volunteers and our estates team from across the university for helping to deliver these wonderful ceremonies. Thank you to them. I would like to also thank our events team from the university who work so very hard to make these ceremonies a success. Thank you to our events team. Before I ask you all, all the, all the graduates, to now uh, stand and, and put on your hats, I'd like to tell you a little cautionary tale. On my first year as Chancellor, we had a group photograph that we took outside the lorry, and everybody was asked to, to throw their hat. And uh, somebody threw their hat a little too en enthusiastically, and it hit my head. <laughs> and 
it felled me to the ground. I literally, <laughs> literally passed out. I thought it would have been a really very, very silly death, you know. <laughs> a mortal wound from a mortar board. <laughs> so now, these days, we just kind of give the indication that we're throwing our hats. We don't actually throw them anymore. We've learned our lessons well. And we're, we're quick learners. <laughs> we, we have to be. Well, I hope, you know, that you go forward from this day, that exciting and wonderful things happen to you, that doors open that you weren't expecting to open, that you're able to take surprising chances, that you're able to cope with whatever challenges and difficulties life might throw at you, but you're also able to grasp the really wonderful chances that come about as a result of getting your degree here today. I'm wishing you all the luck in the world going forward into your future. Now graduates, could I please ask you to stand and put on your hats. that you all gave each other a spontaneous round of applause there. I think you should give yourselves another huge round of applause. Well done. It is now my great pleasure to now declare this ceremony closed. <laughs>